when we leave the European Union, we will be leaving the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice. What we will be able to do is to make our own laws, Parliament will make our laws, it is British judges who will interpret those laws, and it will be the British Supreme Court that will be the ar ultimate arbiter of those laws. We will take back control of our laws. Can you give us any specific examples of how this new arrangement would work in terms of settling disputes? Well, what we've done today is issued a paper which shows a number of ways in which it will be possible to uh, resolve disputes. I think what businesses want to know is that in future relationship, if a dispute arises, how will it be possible to resolve that? We're very clear, we won't have the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice. We will put in place arrangements to ensure that businesses have the confidence of knowing they can continue to trade across the European Union end up with a version of the European Free Trade Association Court resolving post-Brexit disputes. Isn't that just another version of what we've already got where you've got European judges uh, with jurisdiction in Britain? No, there are a number of ways in which it will be possible to deal with dispute resolution in the future. The purpose of our paper is to show that we have thought about what that might be. We'll now obviously go into negotiations with the European Commission to discuss what is the best way forward. But what I'm clear about is that we will be ending the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice in the United Kingdom. We will be making our laws. Parliament will make our laws, it will be British judges who will interpret those laws and it will be the British Supreme Court that will be the ultimate arbiter of those laws.